Across the state of Missouri, 2023 is kicking off with several new laws going into effect, and one of them being an increase in the minimum wage. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman shares how some business owners see the boost as a mere drop in the bucket for a highly competitive job market. As Missourians rang in the new year, they also ushered in an increase to the minimum wage, part of a plan voters approved to raise every year through 2023. Missouri is one of 27 states gradually raising pay for private businesses. While 15 states have matched the federal minimum wage, it hasn't changed since 2009, making it tough to find employees in an already ambitious workforce, still reeling from the aftershocks of the pandemic and inflation. It's really hard to find, so even I offer them more than a minimum wage, still nobody wants to work. Monday was Lee's first day opening his small business in the loop, having to now rely on family instead. This is a simple, you know, fast food type. So beginner with, without experience, I start with $15 an hour, but still can't find people. So I have to go above like 16, 17. If I pay them too much, then I don't make any money. As of January 1st, the minimum wage in Missouri went from $11.15 to $12. That's an increase of 85 cents. And his name is Max. With the help of Dog Max, the owner of Flamenco Exquisite Flower Design has recently tried to hire staff to no avail. It's hard. I mean, I, you know, I can't afford for um, mistakes. I was very frightened because I do think that as minimum wage goes up and the, the lowest paid employees automatically make more, that needs to extend up the line so that the highest paid employees are getting the same raise. In a bigger space and making more, Ludenplonsky is happy to see several employees get a boost, but for many, it's not enough to jump on board. It's definitely been the strangest two years of the past 22. Um, higher turnover than what we normally have. We normally people stay forever. Maybe collectively we'll one day come up with some kind of answers. Reporting in St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2.